Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video I will talk about strain gauge. Following topics will be covered in this video. So without wasting time, let's move to the topic. Let's see what the strain is. Now strain is the amount of deformation expressed by a body in the direction of force applied divided by the initial dimensions of the body. Actually strain is denoted by epsilon and it is defined as the fractional change in length and therefore we can say that epsilon equals to delta L that is change in length divided by actual length. So this will be the formula for strain. Now strain can be of two types. One is known as tensile strain and another one is compressive strain. So tensile strain is the strain which is when applied on the body increases the length. It means that if you want to stretch the body and its length increases then such a strain that is such a force is known as tensile strain and if force is applied on the body to compress it that is it will reduce its length then such a strain is known as compressive strain. Actually there is no dimension of the strain but it may be expressed in terms of millimeter per millimeter or inch per inch. In practice the strain the value of strain is very very small and it is measured in micro strain and we can denote it by e into 10 raised to power minus 6. Now let's see strain gauge. Strain gauge is a device used to measure deformation that is strain of the object and therefore we can say that it is a device which will convert the deformation into electrical signal because further this uh, uh, deformation will cause the change in resistance and uh, we can use it for the conversion into electronics signal. This is the diagram for the strain gauge. Here we can see that this is a wire which are wound in such a way that its length is actually increased and it is having this zigzag pattern over here. This is gauge wire coils approximately 0.025 mm thick and these wires are actually having these two terminals and they, they are soldered over there. So solder tag for the attachments of wires. This strain gauge is actually sensitive only in one direction. So we can say here that it is only sensitive in this x direction here and it is insensitive in the y direction. Means if some strain is applied on the y direction it will not provide any change in the output but only show the change in output if the strain is applied on the x direction that is horizontally over here. Strain gauge is also known as bonded strain gauge or simply bonded gauge. The name bonded gauge is given to the strain gauge because this is actually glued on the specimen means specimen is the structure uh, for which we are measuring the strain and if you want to measure the strain we have to uh, glue it or glued it on the structure. Then one parameter will be there that is the gauge length. Gauge length is the dimension of active grid measured inside the grid end loop. Actually this one is the gauge length that is the length which is sensitive to the strain. Now let's see the effect of strain on the resistance of sensor because it is a resistive transducer here the resistance of the sensor will change on the application of a strain. So uh, here this direction for this direction actually the gauge is insensitive to the lateral forces because only for x direction it is sensitive and there are two types of strain one is tensile strain and another one is compressive strain. So in case of tensile, tensile strain 
we uh, the resistance increases tension causes resistance to increase note here that tension causes resistance to increase for the strain sensor and compression causes resistance to decrease means if compression is there under normal condition some resistance will be there if uh, we apply some tensile strain over here then resistance will increase and for compression the resistance will decrease and generally the resistance is measured between these two points this is the effect of strain on the resistance of sensor and basically this will be useful in the working of a strain gauge now let's see the types of strain gauge actually actually we uh, we have already seen the uniaxial strain gauge here it has a two terminals and it is used for the measurement of only one direction strain in the one direction only and if two or more direction are to be used then two gauge two or more sensors uh, strain sensors should be used and this is known as rosettes and for by axial rosettes we can measure two different directions similarly three for three elements rosettes are there this will measure another direction same in the same way this one and three will also measure another direction so in this way different types of strain gauges are used for the measurement of strain in different direction now let's see the measuring circuit or working of a strain gauge now in previous discussion we know that the strain gauge is a changing resistance a changing resistance can be generally uh, used used to change the output voltage and therefore a bridge circuitry use, is used here and the best circuit that is possible is the wishstone bridge here strain gauge is connected in a wishstone bridge circuit in this case resistance r1 r2 r3 are the fixed resistance and r4 or rg is our strain sensor or strain gauge so two terminals of the strain gauges a uh, gauge is actually connected at this arm that is in between arm a d generally the resistance of this r4 and r3 is uh, kept in such a way that the bridge should be balanced now the condition for the balanced bridge is the ratio of r1 and r2 should be equals to ratio of r4 and r3 this is here and under balanced condition the output voltage equals to zero so in normal condition the resistance of the ratio of this resistance and these two resistances are kept equal and therefore the output will be zero now any small change in the strain uh, strain gauge resistance will cause the bridge unbalanced and therefore the output voltage will change and that is itself used for the measurement of strain here the output voltage v out will be equals to vcd minus vcb the gauge factor for the strain me strain measurement is related to the change in rg as follows so strain is equals to delta rg divided by rg divided by gauge factor the gauge factor is having this formula delta r divided by r upon delta l upon l here delta r is change in resistance and r is the total resistance delta l upon l is itself the strain that is the epsilon or e so in this way this change in resistance is measured by using bridge unbalanced condition now let's see the advantages and disadvantages of strain gauge so strain gauge is very small and is reusable it is ha having no moving part and therefore no wear will be there then it will be, it is very precise then low maintenance and inexpensive also now let's see some disadvantages of strain gauge they measure strain only in one direction that is the disadvantage then it is sensitive to temperature because change in uh, temperature will cause change in uh, resistance of a wire and generally the strain gauge is itself made up of a wire and it is 
non-linear for a longer range. So these are the disadvantages associated with the strain gauge. Now let's see some applications of the strain gauge. So strain gauge in is used in load cells for weight bridges, scales, vehicles, and medi medical and educational applications. They are used for the monitoring monitoring structures such as bridges and buildings. Basically, strain gauge is used everywhere where metal strain is uh, will be there. So it is used in passenger occupancy. They can be bonded to the railway lines. Then this is the application of strain gauge. And friends, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification. And like, comment and share. Thank you.